everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aviator Q. My name is Neil. Uh, for this episode, our uh, first content video, I wanted to do something that many years ago was the first videos that I ever searched for when I was learning how to do charcoal grilling, uh, and that was how to light charcoal. Uh, I've seen it done lots of different ways. I've seen it done wrong lots of different ways. Um, and there's some videos out there that are that are good. They're just could be a little more enjoyable for the viewer to watch. Um, so what we got here, I've got a couple different things that we're going to go with here. Uh, we got uh, a couple different things we're going to do as an experiment, experiment here for you, show you. Uh, the first thing I've got is we've got a bag of the uh, Charcoal Easy Light bag. It's about an $8 bag. I think it's about a pound. That's a four pound bag. Um, this, is, this is really good for like the very first beginner uh, grill or the tailgater or camper or somebody that just wants to get some charcoal uh, and not not anything else just uh, if you got a lighter in this you can get a little bit of grilling uh, you light the bag on this um, it's all it's all charcoal in here it's already kind of soaked in lighter fluid you light the bag and it gets going from the bag and when it turns white it's done um, if you smell it you can kind of smell the lighter fluid coming through it. Uh, the only time I would ever use this is if you know I just don't want to take a bunch of gear or whatnot. Um, we're going to light this off, show you how to do it. Um, next, we're going to show you how to do it, which is probably the more traditional way that everybody does it, with just uh, briquette charcoal and some lighter fluid. Uh, a lot of people don't really like the lighter fluid. Uh, they say that it'll taste like you know, chemicals and whatnot. You can do it right and still get it, still get it to taste right. You just got to make sure that you burn it all off. I personally don't do it. I prefer a third method, and that's letting it off with a charcoal chimney. Um, with this, you can use newspaper. Um, Weber has uh, a product with paraffin cubes. You can put set paraffin cubes in here, light that. It's non-toxic, non-chemical. Uh, it's supposed to give you the, just a true charcoal taste. Um, so with that being said, we'll go through and we'll show you a couple different ways to light it and uh, hopefully that helps you out. Alright everybody, so we've got the bag laid in here. I've kind of shaken it up and made sure all the charcoal is kind of level on the flat. The directions simply say just pull this tab open. So we're going to do that. What that did, I guess I got a little hole in it right there. Uh, to light it, it says just light all four corners. So what I've got, I've just basically got just a propane torch. You can do it with a with a lighter lighter. You just crack it with this. You got a torch. We're gonna light all four corners. And for good measure, I'm gonna light this side too. And that should be uh, that should be all we need. The bag will take over. The lighter fluid on the charcoal will like that. Uh, give it a couple minutes. We'll see, start to see the bag uh, crumble away, and uh, we'll have some lit charcoal. It's easy with just a little bit of little bit of flame. Right, guys it's been about uh, 10 minutes and as you can see the uh, we still got some flames shooting up uh, as the bag burnt away some of the charcoal would uh, would fall off uh, it's got to be mounted to light so I just took a pair of pair of grilling tongs and kind of stacked on top of each other as long as you guys see active flames coming out of there with black charcoal you know there's still there's still a lot of fluid on there so as, once you start to see the ash and the flame goes away, don't ever add any more lighter fluid. If it's cooking, it'll eventually catch. That's probably the number one thing that most people do wrong. Uh, the, they see the fire go away and think, oh, my charcoal's going out. The fire has to eventually go out. Uh, that's the only way to tell when you're out of lighter fluid. But uh, just to give you guys just a little background here, um, my wife doesn't really 
ever see me use lighter fluid so when we lit this she was after we turned the camera off she was like oh my gosh that stinks you can just totally smell the fluid so uh you know this way with the uh, easy light bag yes it's it's going to be easy but guys this thing is doused in lighter fluid um you can see here that the the flame's almost out uh so the fluid's starting to burn off i would still if you're going to cook on this just let this go another i don't know 10 15 minutes um, make sure all those charcoal are, are nice and white and they're all well lit and uh, all the fume smell is gone. Uh, so we'll, we're going we're gonna to pause here. Once it gets a little bit more cooked, we'll show you the finished product and uh, how we would go about spreading that out and cooking. Alright guys, so it's been about another five minutes and as you can see, a lot of that flame is gone. Uh, basically, most of the charcoal has a white ash to it. That charcoal is ready to go. If we zoom in, you can kind of see a yellow glow from the inner charcoals. That charcoal was red hot and ready to go. If you wanted to, you could spread that out with a uh, any kind of uh, spatula or anything. Spread that all out and have a full full grill. Uh, if you wanted to do a two zone, which is indirect heat, uh, yeah, I would just leave it. I would just leave it piled up like that and then cook on uh, on this side of the grill. Just let that be on the hot side and cook on the put your grill grate on and then cook on that side. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it off to the side and uh, we'll show you uh, lighting, um, lighting with some lighter fluid uh, that's not in the bag. Alright guys, so next what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to light charcoal, just regular briquette charcoal, uh, using lighter fluid. So what we've got here is just a, uh, got just a bottle of uh, generic uh, lighter fluid. I think I got this from Food Lion. Um, lighter fluid is lighter fluid. There's no real reason to go out and get the expensive stuff. Um, so what we're going to want to do here is we're basically just going to douse it uh, until it looks wet. Uh, good, just a good pour on it. Hopefully, hopefully we won't light get light from uh, the other charcoal here. But we're just going to douse it here. Just keep it going. Get it nice and wet where it looks nice and wet just like that and that's probably enough right there now from there okay well it lit it normally shouldn't have lit <laughs> but I guess it lit from the other charcoal but had it not done that all you would do is take your your torch or your uh, lighter and just light it up same deal as the bag before you just let it burn uh, when it starts to look like the first batch did ashy and coal you spread it out and you're good to go same thing as before once that fire goes down don't ever add more lighter fluid all you want to do is just let it burn out turn white spread it out and you're good to go uh, we'll show you what it looks like a little bit uh, in a couple minutes it's not going to look any different from uh, the other charcoal once it's lit up um, so it's only been about two three minutes and what i wanted to show you guys was that the flame has already gone out um, if you remember how long it took the, the bag to burn, the bag burned for a good 12 minutes. Within three minutes, that lighter fluid is burnt, burnt off. Uh, we don't know 100%. I still smell it a little bit. But uh, what we can tell is that we do have some white edges. And what that tells me is that it's lit. Uh, so the main thing here is just a waiting game. We want to just wait on all that charcoal to turn white or at least most of it before we spread it out. But this is the stage where most people would probably get a little confused and think, oh, it's gone out, let me add more lighter fluid. And then you have to do the whole process over again of burning all the lighter fluid off. So once you see this, if you feel it and be like, oh, I feel heat, you know it's lit, just be patient and wait for it. That's kind of the name of the game with cooking with charcoal. It's not instant gratification, it makes you wait for it. So it's been about 15 minutes now since we lit and you can kind of see that the uh, they're starting to get a little bit more frosted over all, all over the edges. Um, if I was going to cook with something like this, I would let it go another couple more minutes. Uh, for demonstration purposes today, I'm just going to throw them on over to the other side. Uh, we'll get the charcoal chimney in there and we'll show you how that third and final uh, way is lit. Alright guys, so this is the charcoal chimney from, uh, this is the Weber. Uh, there's lots of different companies that make this. I bought one from Target once. It lasted about a season. Uh, the Weber one is stainless steel. Um, on the shell, the inner parts have a little bit of rust on them. But uh, basically what you got is this hollow tube. I don't know if you can see in the bottom, it's a, 
it's a concave ring. Uh, what you do, you would load load some kind of igniter in the bottom. Um, you could use the cubes that I talked about earlier. You could use newspaper. You light that through the through the holes in the bottom. You would load that part uh, with charcoal. And just like a chimney in your house, as it would heat from the bottom when they turn white on top, uh, it would be ready. I do have some of the, the, the Weber cubes right there, uh, Weber lighter cubes. Um, on the back it says non-toxic and odorless alternative to start fires. Lights easily, even when wet, no chemical aftertaste uh, or char uh, only true charcoal flavor. That's kind of what they look like. They're individual little paraffin cubes. They light instantly. You put them up underneath the, uh, the chimney and uh, lights like that. Uh, other alternatives, some people have like some tumbleweed starters you can put in there. Um, I use, I use the, the cubes. I use newspaper. Um, I don't really, you know, some people get off on the, the ink from the newspaper is toxic, but, you know, it's only on there for a couple seconds, so... You know, it's not really a big deal for me. But uh, we'll get this charcoal chimney loaded up, show you how we light it, and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so I've loaded this with just a little bit of charcoal. If it was a normal cook, I'd fill it about halfway. If I was going to be doing a long cook, I'd fill it all the way. Uh, for our paper, we've just basically got a sail paper here. All I'm going to do is crumble that up into a ball, just a loose ball. I'm going to shove it up underneath that, and I'm going to set it on the grill. Try to do this so I can get burnt from the other charcoal. Once that's lit, we're just going to light it from the side with the uh, with the torch. We got our flame. We're just going to light the paper, let it let it kind of catch, run a little round side. Once it's lit and starts to smoke, you'll see it smoke a little bit. As soon as that ink and that paper burns off, that'll go away. It'll just turn to a clear, you can, you know, when you kind of kind of see the heat flames. But if you put your hand over it and you feel heat, you know it's lit. Um, it's not, it won't show you that instant flame like the lighter fluid because there's nothing really to accelerate it. Um, but as long as you can hold your hand over it and feel heat, you're good. Again, just play, pay the patient, uh, play the patient game. Uh, wait on that charcoal to light. So it's only been about uh, about seven, eight minutes now. You can kind of see there's already a nice red glow uh, coming from the chimney. Uh, that We didn't use any lighter fluid, just a little bit of newspaper to get it going. Um, on uh, evenings where you fill this thing up, you'll see a, just a nice glowing red. You'll see flames coming, shooting out the top. Um, not from any kind of accelerant, just it's a natural charcoal fire. Um, this is my preferred way to do it. I think it's clean, it's fast, um, you know, when the top of the charcoal is turning white, the entire chimney has been lit. Um, and uh, like I said, I think it's just the most efficient way to do it once you get used to it. Um, the chimneys themselves are not that expensive. Uh, I think they're only like $15, $16, something like that. Uh, you can get some cheaper ones out there. Um, but like I said, the Weber, the Weber ones, this one's about four years old and still just in great shape. Um, so I hope that, uh, hope that uh, if any of you were having some trouble lighting some charcoal, this video has helped. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Like I said, it's a new channel. Uh, we've got some good cooks coming. Really excited about. Um, got some burgers coming. Actually, with since all gets light, all this charcoal lit, I'm going to go cook some burgers. So we'll make that into a second video that you can watch. Um, and uh, like I said, we appreciate you joining us and hope to see you in future videos. We'll see you later.